we're combing through the aisles of Vulcan Video, an independent video store here in Austin, Texas, to find the most obscure, the strangest, and the overlooked gems of yesterday. This is the Vulcan Vault. Welcome to a very special episode of the Vulcan Vault this week. Uh, we got Max here. Max, what'd you pick out for us? Hey, John. Uh, today I've got the not terribly obscure, but not as well known as I'd like it to be, uh, television series Clone High, aka Clone High USA uh, from MTV 2002. Now, now why'd you pick this? Uh, this is one of my favorite uh, anime shows of all time, probably my top 10. And um, it's uh, co created by Bill Lawrence, uh, who did Spin City, Scrubs, Cougar Town, and Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who most people know today as the director directors of How to the Chance of Meatballs and 21 Jump Street and the upcoming Lego movie, Lego, A Piece of Resistance. Uh, it was basically their first job almost right out of college and the Lawrence kind of after creating two hit shows took a uh, left turn into basic cable and said, I'm gonna help these guys make a show that's all about historical jokes, which MTV viewers love. They love jokes about Nostradamus and uh, Julius Caesar and JFK. Hi, Kennedy. I invaded her bay of pigs, if you catch my meaning. The premise is, uh, way back in the 1980s, a bunch of uh, government employees dug up famous guys and ladies and took their DNA and made them using genetic copies, and now they're teenagers and they're trying to live up to their historical predecessors. So we've got Abraham Lincoln, his best friend Gandhi, Joan of Arc, uh, JFK, Cleopatra, and a host of others all uh, engaging in parodies of WB teen dramas. Joan, have you ever liked someone so much you're afraid you're gonna blurt out something stupid? I have a rash on my back. It ran for nine episodes in America, uh, 13 that was shown in full in Canada, but basically, um, MTV has a base in India, and Indians didn't take too kindly to Gandhi being turned from one of the leaders of Passive Resistance to a, uh, a, part, a non stop party animal with ADD and slash or its hyperactive cousin ADHD. Hey, Joan, cool stun gun. <laughs> Wait, I can explode. Ow! I forward. Ooh! Egg whites only, please. And basically, uh, let a, not, a, not a massive boycott, but a, a boycott enough for MPV to be like, hmm, are we going to stand behind our cartoon show that's getting very few hits, or are we going to put it on hiatus? And so they have. And so I picked it today because it was released on DVD in Canada, um, but no, no such luck in America. And it's, 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 a decent, it's a decent transfer, it's not the best. Uh, there's no real special features. There's a bit of uh, behind the scenes footage edited together that's less than five minutes or so. Um, and I think none of people have known about it. And I want people to because if you like the comedy in Cloudy or in 20 Jump Street, you're gonna love it in Clone High. What's up, fellow students? Raise the roof! Raise it! Where are my bitches? And then uh, Phil Lord and Chris Miller, of course, uh, Chris voices um, JFK, but then they also are the tag team of uh, Dr. Scudworth, AKA Principal Cinnamon J. Scudworth, and his uh, robot vice, prin uh, vice principal, Mr. B, AKA Mr. Butlertron, AKA Mr. Belver Velvetron, as written in the original pilot, a robotic version of Mr. Belvedere, <laughs> who calls everyone Wesley. Anyone for stones? Why creating a mechanical British servant is no more eccentric than the tie you're wearing. Morty Wesley. That, I, I would watch that simply for the robot Belvedere. Hello, cohorts. It is I, George Washington Carver, and I spent my summer bioengineering this anthropomorphic peanut. Hi, oh, God does. I shake your hands, but you know, peanut arms. Uh, 13 episodes, Clone High, available in Canada. <laughs> you might have to do a little Amazon. Amazon.ca, basically. <laughs> well, cool. Hey, Max, I really appreciate it. And uh, keep uh, checking in with Ain't It Cool for more news and reviews.